The Kenosha County Sheriff today addressed damage done the past two nights and what's being done to keep it from happening again. Our Sean Gallagher live with the very latest on that part of the story. Sean. Carol, Kenosha County Sheriff David Beth tells me they are taking steps to avoid a repeat of the last two nights, including right here. These heavy duty steel fences were put up in the morning so that they could take officers who were here to try and protect the courthouse and other government buildings and put them in the city. That way they can try and protect the streets from any more damage happening. We're doing certain things around even this building that will help allow us to reduce the personnel to actually actually uh, protect this campus. Sheriff David Beth says additional resources are coming into Kenosha to be better prepared for unrest in the city. Sheriff Beth says agencies from as far as Trempolo and Oneida counties will be on hand to help Tuesday night. It's all in the hope of avoiding more scenes like this that have played out in the city the past two nights. They know that we're being tied up someplace else and they'll go over to the uptown area here and they'll crash the window and they'll throw accelerant in there and they will start it on fire. Fires burned across Kenosha into the early hours of Tuesday morning. Sheriff Beth says with law enforcement focused on public buildings downtown, it left other areas of the city vulnerable. Usually where these fires are, are truly in a danger zone. The fire departments are trying their best. They're trying to come up with different techniques to put them out too. But until an area is is safe, they're not going into it. While there are people from Kenosha causing destruction, Sheriff Beth says people coming from outside the city, north and south, are also responsible for the damage. Sheriff Beth says some are coming in from Chicago and also Milwaukee. Their entire goal is to come here and wreak havoc. The professional agitators is what we call them that come from other places, they don't care. Governor Tony Evers announced Tuesday he's doubling the National Guard presence in Kenosha, bringing the total to 250 troops on the ground. Sheriff Beth says he's hopeful for a better outcome based on all the changes from the previous two nights. I have great confidence we're going to be all right tonight. Do I have any idea what's going to be thrown at us? No. In a video just posted to Facebook, the mayor of Kenosha says that they are requesting more federal support. This all a result after law uh, officers were uh, injured. Several were injured over the course of the last two days. And Sheriff Beth says they've only made about 16 arrests as a result of all the unrest over the last two days. He says a large part of that is they don't want to incite any more chaos that's already going on in the streets. But he does say there could be charges coming for people as they monitor surveillance footage of every incident. Here in Kenosha, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News.